wait until he sees me. I completely owe you for this hair. You know what? Just give Asher a message for me. Asher? What, what do you care about him? He's the one who sold Cola's drugs. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Could you tell him that Star said to drop dead? Because... <sighs> Breathe, Marco. Just breathe. Oh, thank you. You look so pretty. I can't hey. wait till he sees you. Oh, my God. I'm, like, nervous. <laughs> Don't bring in your back. Okay, have some Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Voila! Oh, Langston. You look... Beautiful. Well, you look pretty handsome yourself. Have you been here long? Long enough to have a good talk with me. Camera, please. Oh, uh, yeah, I just oh, got oh, new oh, batteries. Oh, Hurry up. Oh, okay. Get together, get together. Just to Marco, you. you look so good. Oh, and Jordan, get out of the picture. I'm their stylist. Oh, Come on. Excuse me, okay, get closer, kids. Closer. Oh, Yay. oh now that's close. Trying to kid Balsam. You're crazy about that girl. She's crazy about you. You're the one who's crazy. I'm crazy. Bo, we gotta finish this. I'm not your problem, Plant. No. My relationship with Nora, the fact that we care about each other, the fact that we we share. Matthew, all of that stuff, it was in place the moment that you two started seeing one another. And now, our son is facing a world of hurt, and all of a sudden, you get jealous? I'm just looking for answers. Maybe you're looking for an excuse not to be so serious. Maybe you don't love her enough. Or maybe you just don't want to get married, but you are your problem, big brother. It's not me. You're crazy. Crazy. Two for two. Hey, Mike. Are you gonna tell me where my brother is? I was gonna ask you the same thing. I haven't talked to him. I swear. You know, I keep seeing all these bullets and serial killer on the land. I and mean, look, you know, I, I know that John can take care of himself. Right? But you know, I mean, sometimes he has the tendency to act first and then think. You know, when I think of cowboys, this isn't exactly what comes to mind. Well, what does come to mind? Clint or Bo? Clint thinks that there's something going on between me and Bo. And he's wrong. I would like to tell you something in confidence, okay? Okay. Clint admitted to me that he's feeling unnecessary that you're turning to Bo. Oh. Oh. All right, Vicky. let me ask you something. If something were to happen to one of your children, who would you turn to? Clint or Charlie? I understand. Then why doesn't Clint understand? Because you and Bo have a lot of history. Well, so do you and Clint. And when you went off to St. Anne's to help Jessica, I didn't get all stupid and jealous. No, because you and I are friends. Yes, and Bo and Clint are our brothers. brothers. Like I'm tearing them apart. Hey, how'd you like the cowboy? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm uh, I'm someplace else. What's going on? And Michael was gonna call when there was some news about when they could exhume the body. Mm. I know Stars, hoping that it's soon. She still has no idea why her baby was alive one moment and gone the next. Aren't you crying, baby? You okay? Yeah, fine. Excuse me. You're doing. Okay. Next time I turn my, I turn my phone calls. I told you that I would get back with you. Are you gonna pay me my money, Natalie? Or am I gonna have to tell you this to the truth? I'll get you your damn money. Tomorrow morning, a hundred grand. Or everybody's gonna know what your sister did. Stan, what are you doing here? I gave you 24 hours to come up with the money you fleeced me out of. <sighs> 
I don't owe you anything. This is a private party. Your specialty. I saw the way you were looking at your new roommate. What do you think he'd say if you knew you were the kind of girl that rips people off and leaves town? Is there a problem here? Did you talk to the medical examiner? We filed the paperwork for the exhumation. Well, as soon as the judge uh, signs off, then we can proceed. Great. A lot of people want to know why this baby died. to call me. Well, so sue me for being a gentleman. I just want to get out of here, okay? You called me. I was planning on hitting this thing and solo. And then you got lucky. I got all kinds of party favors in the car. Should be a wild night. I'm counting on it. Let's go. Say no, 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 we're we're no, we're no. That's the last one. No, right. it's fine. We took okay. plenty. Maybe I get one of them, like, leaving. Oh, that's great. Yeah, right. We're back. Yeah, yeah then look over going. your shoulder right. slightly. Oh, look at me. Oh, keep going. Oh, oh, oh they're leaving. Oh, my God. Lang. <sighs> Honey. It's okay. Okay, guys. Have a really fun time. Get going. We will. <laughs> Hurry up. Bye. Bye. Blank. Yeah. Ready. Come on. Okay. You okay? I mean, come on. We'll have a girls' night. What about your father? Well, they all went to the movies. I just can't believe your mother checked out of the hospital. I guess she felt strong enough and she didn't want us to be alone with my dad. Well, I guess the occasion calls for uh, Coco. I'm gonna spike mine. Thanks a lot, Judge. We're all set. <clears throat> Thank you, Bo. I'm gonna go call Marcy. She's been waiting to hear. What's going on? Not a thing. Right, Sugar? Everything's good. Oh. What was that all about? Oh, just a guy who couldn't take no for an answer. Comes with territory. I really appreciate you stopping in like that. Least I could do. <laughs> you really came through for me tonight. Hey, what are friends for? Hey, you seen our uh, guest of honor anywhere? Nora, do you have feelings for Bob? We have a problem. Meet me outside, now. Clint, this is girls only. What are you doing here? Nora, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? What? I just heard Bo and Michael talking. They're exhuming the baby's body. What? Yes, it's not going to take them long to figure out that it, it isn't Star's baby in the grave. It's Jessica's. And then we'll know that Chloe is really Star's baby. Marcy? What's happening? Tonight, 